Hey everybody, and welcome to the ninja only challenge. Uh, I was going to hub uh, just to check on things. And I noticed that there was a change in hub. Namely, there's a shit pile of Sheck just all chilling around here. I'm a little bit like taken aback. Uh, first things first, you guys, please tell me they're going to uh, Ninja Pow Tower Obsidian and not Ninja Tower Prime. Fucking tech hunters went to the wrong tower. Those motherfuckers. Oh my god. They're- Look at this. They set up a faction HQ. Dude, that's so crazy. What's, uh, what's in here? I can't- This might be the first building the shack have ever <laughs> rebuilt. Kinjo the Ogre Slayer? What the hell? He is ignoring you, completely focused on his other tasks. Ahem. What is it, Flatskin? I don't have all day. I already have the stone golem pestering me. I don't need you adding to it. What do you mean by that? Our queen has tasked me, a warrior, with holding and rebuilding this town. She believes it will come to serve us well in the years to come. A task far beneath someone in my standing. However, I will not disobey my orders. So, did you need something? I'm a busy man, and this idle yapping doesn't help. How is the reconstruction coming along? We've made some progress in stopping the bandit attacks, but the war with the holy nation still sucks our supplies away. There are still some bandits plaguing the area. The black dragons are wounded but not slain. We must bring down both of their leaders to scatter them to the wind. As for the dust bandits, the dust king and his, all his potential successors have been dealt with. Finally, these rats will have driven out. Okay, so he wants me to kill the last dra black dragon ninja. I didn't realize they're they're even still around. Dude, that's so badass. Uh, I wanted to check hub real quick because I wanted to go to the shinobi tower and see if they've got some fog masks for me because I am not giving up in my my goal of uh fucking. Getting dudes. And the poison gas. Hell yes. Yes. Oh. That's going to be great. That's actually fucking humongous. Uh, I'll get a thieves backpack as well. For my potential new recruits. I mean, at the very least, the mercenaries guild. They're going to be helpful. Right. Assuming they go to Ninja Tower Obsidian. If they go to Ninja Tower Prime because the other dudes went to Ninja Tower Prime, that would be really, really, really obnoxious. How much time do I have? One day. Dude. That, oh. That's really, really, really frightening. I feel a little bit bad about how I completely cheesed the, uh, the other assault, but... I mean, we are ninjas. Ninjas do not fight fair. And if my foes are dumb enough to walk through enemy territory, there's no reason we shouldn't ambush them on the road. I think it makes sense. The mercenaries maybe make less sense, but... The uh, reverse law of ninjutsu only applies when away from home. Let's see. So these guys are indeed ninja guards. All of them. There is no tech hunters sleeping on the bed. A little bit unfortunate. I do see a mercenary. That is pretty cool. Uh, I think I want to buy a couple books as well. Just so I can get more like weapon grades. Available. I'll buy the armor plating as well and the fabrics. Uh, is Torb Noir? Oh my god, dude. Please tell me I didn't make a fucking helmet. And I... Okay, I had not. Okay, how are these things? 51 blunt, 82 cut resistance, and 65% efficiency. The efficiency is a little bit dog shit. But... The, uh... 
The protection is crazy. Let's see, 22, 35, 60 versus 51, 82, 65. It just looks badass as hell as well. Very terrifying. There we go. How much armor platage do I have? I guess I can always get more. Yeah, we're completely out, pretty much. Unfortunate. Alright, Mercenary Guild. Uh, excuse me. Outpost, two days. Boom. Fantastic. Oh, I want to see the world state checker. Let's see, Holy Nation. Uh, why not Lycus? Lycus is okay is false. All HN leaders are not okay is false. Uh, what about unique companions? Beep. Seto? Oh, interesting. Wait, there's Big Al? Big Dark Brown? There's, there's Swamp Clans? Okay. Black Dragon Ninjas are not okay as false. Okay. It looks like Boozan is dead, but Dimac is not. Interesting. Well, assuming these fuckers are going to the right tower, and they don't go to the wrong tower... Oh, no, no, no. They seem to be going to my fucking random outpost. I will destroy this thing. I care not. Dude, fuck these fucking mercenaries. I can't believe it. How could they do this to me? The Wrath guy is literally on the fucking horizon. These sons of bitches. Is it going to break the contract? Or are they going to be like, Oh, that's to be you, bitch. Contract no longer exists. I'm sure they will just bounce, like every other thing bounces. Oh, thank goodness they are. I think they just go to the nearest thing. There we go. Dude, that's so badass. This is actually hilarious. Oh, you know what? I might as well just get another plate beating station, right? Just have like stereo plate beating sounds. Uh, I guess this one can just be at the foot of this bed. That way Norpal could uh, get in on it when he's not farming. Right? Or cooking. I wanted to maybe create like a a secondary area as well to fight in. So I think it would be helpful. To avoid any problems. Oh, perfect. We should have enough building materials. For it as well. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? A fucking Inquisitor squad? So rude. Well, hopefully all these mercenaries will come help me out. Oh, they're fucking fighting dudes up there. You've gotta be joking. Okay, they lost. What fucking chumps? It's 2,000 cats down the toilet. Oh my god, dude. Abby, what the fuck? Why are you sleeping there? No. Abby needs to trade with glass, I think. Just so that both party members can find out full effectiveness. Even though it might be like a step down for Abby, technically speaking. It's gonna be step up damage wise for sure, especially against the like highly armored inquisitors. We still have yeah 13 hours, so that'll be plenty of time for them to uh, heal up, get Baggy to go out and get beaten up as well, so he doesn't like, cause everyone to not play dead. Nice job, Lass. Let's actually go. Looks like the helmet's working out very greatly as well. 
You know, considering all these guys have like 30% armor pen on their weapons, I feel like... It's actually pretty... The helmet's blocking pretty well. Hell yes, let's go. The boys are coming. How come they're, uh, how come they're not, like, shining? Not, like, green? Are they a different clan of tech hunters? Oh, no, they, they're they white because the baggy. Interesting. Dude, there's even more dudes. Are you joking? Dude, Fall's got really high dex. It's actually pretty amazing. Alright, Torpnor, please go just put someone in bed. Might as well let the mercenaries handle the protection against the rabble. We need all the strength we can get for the final... for the huge assault. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. We will medic. Guess I'll let him medic and... Yeah, do the rescue. Abby probably should also... Uh, go sleep. Dude, can these guys give it a fucking rest? It's actually killing me. Alright, Torbnor, you might as well... Get LNL up into... Top bunk. Wait, can I no longer reach it? Oh my god, dude, it's unreachable. That's so rude. Well, I guess there's this bed. How's Baggy doing? He's fine. Get in here, Baggy. Dude, these mercenaries are in such a fucking absolutely sorry state. It is actually insane. Are they gonna use my camp beds if I set down some camp beds? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, they're getting their ass beat once again. They're barely going to be able to serve as cannon fodder. At the very least, it looks like most everyone's pretty much healed now. So we've got that going for us. Also, LNL now has the opportunity to acquire the specialist tin can. So now she too is and up. I really need to get these guys out of here, so I'll quickly slay them. I don't think we're going to be taking any damage or anything like that. Oh my god, is that fresh paladins? Dude, this is actually a fucking nightmare. Oh, well, actually just looks like one fresh paladin. Okay, that's pretty cool. We can deal with that. Just going to take the moment to disarm them. We'll disarmor them. Oof. 22 iron for like a full container. That's pretty ridiculously good. They can keep their crappy cloth pants. And that'll be enough iron for all the play beating I could ever want or need. So that's nice at least. Everyone might as well heal up a little bit more. Everyone is even slightly injured. Which includes Lass. Uh, Kales, I think I'm going to want to just... Uh, he or work on the iron plates. I have three armor plates right now. I don't want to get a black plate jacket cooking for Lass, because I think he's the most at risk. Torb Noir, get working on that. Abby's healthy, Lass is healthy enough. Should have about a bajillion normal books, so... That will be help for our research. I'm putting the thief's backpack in there. I care not. Mernigade. I see my mercenaries continue to be just like completely 
fucking <laughs> useless. If only I had all the mercenaries available. Fuck, is there anywhere else that I could potentially grab dudes? I guess I could go to this way station. How many hours do I have? One. Ooh, okay. Might not be able to, uh, to get everything. But whatever, I think we're gonna have enough iron plated. We just need, uh, a torch post up here. Torb Noir, you might as well put engineering below the armor smithing. There we go. Oh, this thing's not going to be done in time. Yikers. Uh, excuse me? Wrath of God not incoming. I've been trolled. I guess they just realized that it was not me. Took out their army. I see. I see someone, uh... Reinforcements are arriving. Fuck yes, dude. Oh no, he's getting his ass kicked. Well, that's fine. You know, all things considered, that, uh... is a positive experience for me. So it means we're not just facing supreme annihilation. Okay, the jacket should be done. So let's see. It is... Oh my god, dude. It's like slightly better. It's the same amount of blunt. It's five more points of cutting resistance, but it's also 10% more. Which means it's like, uh... I'll say 9%. Almost 10% more cutting resistance. But in exchange, it's got none of the benefits. This is kind of really disappointing. I mean, the extra little bit probably would help. Oh, plus Torb Noir's dust coat is specialist grade. Whatever. Lass is literally immune to acid, so... He might as well. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, it looks like a... It doesn't really look like a ninja. It's just like a merc. But, you know, you might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Sorry to say. None of us really super duper look like ninjas. At some point, I definitely need to... make, like, finalized robes. Hmm. I need to take stock. So there's a left leg. And a right leg. And a right arm. I kind of... I think for the rest of this episode. Just to... You know, recoup some of the losses. Or, uh... <laughs> not losses. To make... Make use of the time since we kind of just like waited around got our ass beat by random dudes I think what I want to do is I want to undergo a shinobi transformation with Torb Noir Think that would be pretty good So I will go do that and Let's see. I do have a leather barrel, right? No, I have a skins barrel I think it probably would make sense to start to tan leather. Maybe craft some assassin's rags for everyone. Just for uh, the future. So the leather tanning floor can go underneath the plate armor floor. Just be crafting. The armor ta tanning bench. Go over here. And then the crafting bench can go back here. Um, 
Okay, there's really not much space. What if the tanner is like squished in over here? And the crafting bench could be squeezed in over here. Here we go. It's a little bit tight, but that's completely fine. My mercenaries have woken up from their comas to help out with the river raptors. Those are a lot more of their speed, so it's actually pretty nice. Pretty good, all things considered. I love hearing the distant. I wonder how many toughness level ups I'm going to get. Let's see, lock level 16. That shouldn't be too bad. Considering I have a... Oh, here we go. Lock level 11. No, not me, please, bugger, no! Alright, excellent. So I think once my limb HP goes down to zero, I should start medicating, right? Uh, excuse me. Why isn't it medicating me? Okay, no, I am reducing the bleeding. Excellent. Let's see. How's this toughness going? Oh, it's a rising up. Dude, you get so much XP. My field medic is also steadily rising. Alright. It's two limbs gone. Now it is the right arm. Oh my god. I had a fucking panic attack for a sec. I was like, hmm... Do I actually have the proper legs? I do. Okay, can I medic? Yeah, I can medic. Okay, one more limb, and then we can just escape. I can just like, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Might as well, wait, let my toughness XP just maximize. Uh, hold on. Alright, there we go. I need at least one arm to first aid. Let's see, the toughness. It's going up to 90. Oh, hold on. Alright, let's fucking get out of Zoom! Oh my god, dude, he's picking the slowest route. Okay. Well, awesome. That is how you do Shinobi transformation. I have to say, it was extremely painful. And we still are out one arm. But I can just visit the Deadlands real quick to get the other arm. And my lock picking. I'm probably going to get just like a normal skeleton arm for the other arm. So I imagine my lockpicking is going to be pretty much the same. Though, this limb definitely has bonuses to that. The other one will have like a penalty, so I think it'll just even out. Can move pretty friggin' fast now, at least. It's actually kind of sad because of the bucket helmet. Fortnoir is no longer immune to the acid rain. Oh well. I mean, three out of four limbs are. There we go. So. Want left arm, preferably masterwork. So I don't have to ever shop again for it. Kind of looks like there's not anything that fits that description other than a lifter arm, which, like, 
It's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, there's steady arms, there's specialist. Oh my god, dude. Why are these arms so trash? It's masterwork legs. Which I could maybe go for. Would be pretty funny. Could move very, very fast. Well, first things first. Skeleton arm left. Boom. So now Torb Noir should have a like a 40% boost to dexterity. Don't think it recognizes that he uh, got the leg arm yet. That will get a scout leg left as well. The specialist. Just get, you know, even legs on that one. Don't think we need to go super crazy with it. Okay, yeah, here we go. Dexterity, 97. I guess I'll visit the scrap house real quick as well. See if I can find any, uh... Any equipment. Any more sabers. So, there is... There are long swords. They do look to be model mark. Ones and twos. Oh crap, are they relics? They might be relics. Well, I guess I'll get a model mark too. And I could get it for a Jeet as well, though I really think Jeets are kind of booty. Maybe just a second model mark too. I mean, whose weapon would I be replacing? <gasps> Fuck Magus. Let's go, that's actually incredible. Mm, I think I've spent a little bit. A lot. Spent quite enough. I'll just head on back. And so, somehow, we have found ourselves surviving both the wrath of God, which never came, and the retribution of God. I think that is the name. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The one with Seta, who is now in jail. My only regret is that I didn't get uh, the brownie points for getting him. But maybe I could, like, set him free or something and then pick him up. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter so long as he's been defeated. And so we've got only a couple orders or a couple locations remaining. We've got Rebirth and Blister Hill, which are both, I mean, Rebirth's going to be easy, I think. I guess, technically speaking, there's these holy military bases as well, but I imagine those are going to be, like, one-stop poppers, you know? Don't think there'll be anything exceptional about them. <laughs> I think, Tuner, we've spent, like, the vast majority of his contract to protect this town. Unconscious. That's actually hilarious. Ooh, the cut resistance efficiency of the fog mask is actually kind of incredible. Let's see what that turns out being. If it's specialist grade. Okay, let's see. So, 33, 56, 90. So it's definitely considerably less protective than the tin can. But it is also considerably more protective than the rattan hat and provides the same amount of coverage and better protections. Oh, it's so much of a step up. 